Well, hello everyone, my name is Kasumi-san and welcome to my PC tutorial on how to fly the attack helicopter. Welcome to part 2 of my tutorial. In this part I will teach you how to fly the helicopter. Now this will be a rookie lesson meant for those people that crash 5 seconds off the takeoff. So if you're one of those people, keep watching and you might learn something. Now I fly with a keyboard and a mouse. It works best for me since I don't have a joystick or anything. And it seems to be the easiest way for me. The four keys on the keyboard you use for movement are WASD. The same as when you are on foot. In order to take off you press W which increases the engine RPM and by pressing A you can turn left. Pressing D will turn you right. Now I'm not touching the mouse here so I'm staying level. Now if you press S you will descend but you will descend pretty rapidly so don't press it too much. Most people who I see crashing 5 seconds off to take off have problems with the next thing. When you push your mouse forward, the nose of the helicopter will point down. You will have to compensate this by pressing W. I'm not going full speed here. It's better to practice on lower speeds before you go all out. As you can see on the HUD there are lines, horizontal lines indicating degrees. Now there's a sweet spot between 10 and 15 degrees. If you hold your crosshair there and you go and you press W all the way down on the keyboard, that's basically when you can go full speed and maintain about the same altitude. Now after a while you will learn this by yourself and not looking at the HUD, but it might be kinda handy to look at the HUD first. Now that you know how to fly your helicopter in a straight line, we can go to turning the helicopter. Now when you push your mouse to the right, you will see this. You won't really turn quick. In order to make some good turns, you will have to push both the button on the keyboard in which direction you want to go to. So if you're going left like this, you want to push A on the keyboard and move your mouse to the left. This will give you some really good turns. Now as you can see this is recorded on the Firestorm map. I find this map the best map to practice flying. If you find a pretty empty server with a few players on it then you get a chopper. Yeah, there is a lot of wasteland around the map, not much to crash into. So it's the best map for practicing flying in my opinion. One thing that gives you a really big advantage in flying the helicopter is knowing the maps. Knowing where you can make tight turns where you can try to lose other aircraft so try to learn the maps it will really help you out in the long run many people also have problems hovering with the helicopter or landing it if you have some speed build up and you will you want to try to hover or land you will have to pull your mouse back so your nose will go up it will decrease your speed and if you want to land you just push S to descend and if you want to hover you have to compensate every now and then a little bit with W to keep some altitude this is a really good way to cap objectives you'll have to watch out though for people trying to hit you with tanks and RPGs but I normally only do this when there ain't many enemies around like in the start of a round and it will give you some nice points and it will count towards your attack helicopter score so that is pretty nice So once you're getting the hang of it, you can start practicing some more advanced stuff. A nice tank there by the way, I thought it was kind of funny, floating tank. Um, best map for this, in my opinion, is Caspian Boarding. Why? Because there's this awesome road you can follow, flying low, and I will show you right now. It has some pretty neat corners in it, which requires some pretty fast turning, pretty fast thinking. And uh, it really helps you to learn to fly better. One important thing to keep in your mind 
when flying like this or doing anything else for that matter um, is that you is your mindset if you go into the chopper and you're already thinking oh my god I'm gonna screw this up I will never be able to do this you won't make it you will just crash you will just fail all the time you have to go into the chopper thinking now I'm gonna fly and I'm gonna kick some ass that's when you actually kick some ass and fly like you've never flown before. Now this may sound very stupid, but it actually really works. If you have a positive mindset, you will do things much better. And this not only counts for flying the chopper in BF3. Now this was my quick guide on how to fly the chopper in BF3. Hope you liked it. And I might be back with a part three covering how to attack vehicles on the ground and in the air some basic maneuvers we'll have to see if people want it leave a comment thumbs up whatever subscribe and I'll see what I can do peace out